Hey, 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 hey. So what I'm gonna show you today is when you have a hook truck and what you have to avoid. And I'm gonna show you something that you wanna avoid when you're picking up a dumpster. Thanks for uh, checking our video out again today. Bad day yesterday. Well, I'm not having a bad day. A bad day would constitute uh, something you can't really fix. So I guess we're having a bad day. I don't know. We're having a bad day. The hey. rain's making it seem that way, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If it wasn't raining. But anyway, we had a, a DOT stop yesterday and uh, everything went pretty good. Except one of the brake chambers, when the driver was depressing the brake, the brake chamber wasn't holding air. Now, I kind of feel a little sad about that because the brake chamber, you don't know is bad. Like when the, when the driver is doing his pre-trip, he can't be inside and outside at the same time. So for whatever reason, when he would depress the brakes, the brake chamber wasn't holding air. I don't know what the deal was all about, but what happened was the, the officer, we were actually in the uh, same parking lot as a truck repair facility. So we brought it in there and um, had him fix it. And then we're gonna bring it to another facility and then we'll we'll have them do a, a, a much more depth inspection on the truck. So check it out. I'm back on the GoPro. It's raining out and I really didn't want to get the Sony 6600 wet. Matt is gonna videotape. He's gonna he's gonna be my handy dandy super duper helper. So what I'm gonna show you today is when you have a hook truck and what you have to avoid. And if I'm gonna show you, look at my foot, is this has a sharp edge on it. Now I'm gonna start taking the dumpster on and I'm gonna show you something that you wanna avoid when you're picking up a dumpster. And I'm gonna show you what those sharp teeth could possibly do to your dumpster. So Matt's gonna videotape it um, and I'm gonna get in the truck and he's gonna speed this up and we're gonna make this a fast video because I wanna I want warn people what not to do. So here's what you're gonna do. If you ever come in crooked onto a dumpster, right, and you're trying to lift it on, and you have this scenario right there, I'm gonna show you what to do that you could fix it and you could get the dumpster on the truck. The easy way to do is if you have the room would be to straighten up the truck. But I'm gonna show you what to do as a trick. You're gonna concentrate on that, Matt, okay? okay. You're gonna take your, your boom, and you're gonna extend it out. Did you see the boom? You see I'm gonna extend out the boom? Now you see it's pulling it away? You see that? Now it gives it more clearance. Now you don't wanna do this on a heavy load, guys, because that's not the way you do it. Now you can bring your boom back down for safety. And there you go. That's how you get away, you know, if you can't, because right now I can't straighten out the truck. Now I can just do what I gotta do to straighten out the vehicle. Hopefully I get this thing on. There you go. Now we'll get that sucker on. Now it's on the truck. The reason we had to do it that way was because I couldn't straighten out. When I was back there farther, I'm gonna go across the road here is I was hitting the rocks and I couldn't I couldn't pull the truck forward and straighten it out and get the dumpster to come onto the rails. So what I had to do was I was I was fidgeting with it in a different way. You just have to adapt and overcome and then figure out your your solution to your problem. It's not doing anything dangerous or not. It's just knowing the, the capabilities of the truck and it's just knowing you know how to overcome a scenario that, you know, that could potentially stop you from picking up a dumpster that day. Now, you don't want to pick up a heavy dumpster. This is just full of, you know, house debris, so it's not a big deal. But if you're picking up a heavy dumpster, you don't want to be picking it up with a heavy load. You, I mean, you'll, you'll, you could break the jib, but this is just, you know, house trash. Not a big deal at all as far as weight. All right, guys, that's the, uh, 
That's my tip and trick of the day. If we were not in the same parking lot as a truck repair facility, mag facility, we would have had to uh, get it towed. The officer said he took it out of service. You were really lucky, huh? Like, yeah, you were right there. We got lucky. Yeah, right we were right on the place. edge, right on the edge. A lot of people hate on DOT, but I'm gonna tell you, I'd rather have them pull me over, find something, give me a ticket for it, rather than me hurt somebody, and then they find it after I kill a bus full of kids or something. In reality, things happen for a reason. It'll be a safer truck, and it's a learning lesson. You know, it's all good. We'll keep going, and we're gonna keep hustling dumpsters and keep running safe, and that's that's the good thing about buying a new truck. You know, when you get pulled over, your brake pads are 100%, so that's my PSA of the day.